Blockchain Technology from Tech Diaries If you have been following banking, investing, or cryptocurrency over the last few years, you may be familiar with blockchain, the record-keeping technology behind the cryptocurrency network. Blockchain is a distributed, decentralized, public ledger which is extremely complex in nature. Blockchain, sometimes referred to as distributed ledger technology or DLT, makes the history of any digital asset unalterable and transparent through the use of decentralization and cryptographic hashing. If this technology is so complex, why call it blockchain? At its most basic level, blockchain is literally just a chain of blocks. When we say the words block and chain in this context, we are actually referring digital information as the block, stored in a public database as the chain. Blockchain, as its name suggests, consists of multiple blocks strung together. In order for a block to be added to the blockchain, however, four things must happen, first a digital transaction must occur, in many cases a block will group together potentially thousands of transactions from different users. Second that transaction must be verified, with blockchain, however, that job is left up to a network of computers. That is, they confirm the details of the purchase, including the transaction's time, currency amount, and participants as genuine. Third that transaction must be stored in a block, after your transaction has been verified as accurate, it gets the green light. The transaction's dollar amount, your digital signature should be stored in a block. There, the transaction will likely join hundreds, or thousands, of other transactions like it. Fourth that block must be given a hash. Once all of a block's transactions have been verified, it must be given a unique, identifying code called a hash. The block is also given the hash of the most recent block added to the blockchain on the network. Once hashed, the block can be added to the blockchain. Anyone can view the contents of the blockchain, but users can also opt to connect their computers to the blockchain network as nodes. In doing so, their computer receives a copy of the blockchain that is updated automatically whenever a new block is added. Each computer in the blockchain network has its own copy of the blockchain, which means that there are thousands, or millions of copies of the same blockchain. Although each copy of the blockchain is identical, spreading that information across a network of computers makes the information more difficult to manipulate. Once a block added to blockchain, it cannot be changed by any user but can be viewed by all. Although transactions on the blockchain are not completely anonymous, personal information about users is limited to their digital signature or username. Blockchain technology accounts for the issues of security and trust in several ways. First, new blocks are always stored linearly and chronologically. That is, they are always added to the end of the blockchain. After a block has been added to the end of the blockchain, it is very difficult to go back and alter the contents of the block as there are multiple identical copies of that blockchain distributed to each node user and in order to cheat, the content has to be manipulated in each block on the chain to make it effective. Changing a block content will change that block's hash code resulting in interruption in chain sequence and could be identified as hacking immediately. 
This enables a very transparent yet extremely safe way of transaction recording but not editing. In blockchain editing is completely prohibited. Blockchain technology can be used to store data about property exchanges, stops in a supply chain, and even votes for a candidate. By integrating blockchain into banks, consumers can see their transactions processed in as little as 10 minutes, out of which 5 minutes basically the time it takes to add a block to the blockchain, regardless of the time or day of the week. With blockchain, banks also have the opportunity to exchange funds between institutions more quickly and securely. Blockchain forms the bedrock for cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and others. By spreading its operations across a network of computers, blockchain allows Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies to operate without the need for a central authority. This not only reduces risk but also eliminates many of the processing and transaction fees and hassles. Healthcare providers can leverage blockchain to securely store their patients' medical records, which provides patients with the proof and confidence that the record cannot be changed. Blockchain has the potential to eliminate the need for scanning documents and tracking down physical files in a local recording office. If property ownership is stored and verified on the blockchain, owners can trust that their deed is accurate and permanent. A smart contract is a computer code that can be built into the blockchain to facilitate, verify, or negotiate a contract agreement. Suppliers can use blockchain to record the origins of materials that they have purchased. This would allow companies to verify the authenticity of their products. Voting with blockchain carries the potential to eliminate election fraud and boost voter turnout. Different media can be created and distributed having a secured transaction via blockchain. Blockchain eliminates the need for third-party verification and, with it, their associated costs. By spreading the blocks across a network, rather than storing it in one central database, blockchain becomes more difficult to tamper with. Banking transactions can be completed in about 10 minutes and can be considered secure after just a few hours. This is particularly useful for cross-border trades, which usually take much longer because of time zone issues. Although users can access details about transactions, they cannot access identifying information about the users making those transactions. Once a transaction is recorded, its authenticity must be verified by the blockchain network. Thousands or even millions of computers on the blockchain rush to confirm that the details of the purchase are correct. Even though personal information on the blockchain is kept private, the technology itself is almost always open source. While there are significant upsides to the blockchain, there are also significant challenges to its adoption. Although blockchain can save users money on transaction fees, the technology is far from free. Despite the costs of mining cryptocurrency, users continue to drive up their electricity and infrastructure bills in order to validate transactions on the blockchain. Speed inefficiency is observed due to limited transactions per second. While confidentiality on the blockchain network protects users from hacks and preserves privacy, it also allows for illegal trading and activity on the blockchain network. Newer cryptocurrencies and blockchain networks are susceptible to 51% attacks. 
These attacks are extremely difficult to execute due to the computational power required to gain majority control of a blockchain network but with advanced technology on lease may change the picture in future making it difficult. Transactions on the blockchain network are approved by a network of thousands of computers. This removes almost all human involvement in the verification process, resulting in less human error and a more accurate record of information. Even if a computer on the network were to make a computational mistake, the error would only be made to one copy of the blockchain. In order for that error to spread to the rest of the blockchain, it would need to be made by at least 51% of the network's computers which is a near impossibility. The goal of blockchain is to allow digital information to be recorded and distributed, but not edited. Thank for watching guys and see you in the next video.